boxing. Oh yeah, that is what we're getting into, boxing. As we slide onto our classic tabletop RPG, top secret first edition. I wanna say what's up to Malitz and also if you're brand new to the channel, let me throw the tagline at you real quick. This folks is RPG Elite. It's the place where I put the RP back in the RPG. And I do that by giving you tools, tips, tutorials, and real talk about the tabletop RPG space and culture. Yes, that talk that makes people feel uncomfortable, that talk that people don't like to address because they just don't want the drama. Well, you know what? I am wired for that. God made me for that. So I'm here to take the hits when it comes to that. And I do all of this because you, dear viewer, I want you to have a more immersive and enjoyable tabletop RPG experience. I want you to have a tabletop RPG session every time you go to the table that has depth and substance and that's rich. Now, before we get into our video today, I want to announce that I got a little something special for you in the next couple of months. Every month, I'm going to be giving away a key to the map making beast Kronos Builder. Now I'm not quite sure at the moment how I'm going to do it because it might be different every month. So the way to find out how I will be doing it every month is to go over to the community tab and there I'm probably gonna be giving you some instructions. At least that's what I'm thinking right now that if I change it up, then you'll probably have to see it in a video or something. But at this moment, that seems to be the best place to do it. So go ahead and make sure that you keep tabs on the community tab. It's pretty active over there. I'm at least trying to do something once a day in 2023. So I'm going to be giving away one of these keys every month. So keep it locked. All right, let's get right into it. Top secret first edition. Boxing and swordplay. Now they both use the same table, but we just gonna be looking at boxing in this video. You can do swordplay some other time, you know what I mean? All right, let's do it right now with boxing. So roll them. If we're looking to engage in some hand-to-hand -hand combat, nobody wants to do possession combat, let's say it's hand-to-hand. -hand. So the first thing we need to do is we need to measure and make sure they're within 10 feet of one another. Foundry is really different. Just press control and press and drag with your left mouse key to see how far and it's easily about six feet away from one another. So that's good. So we can just keep them in that position right there. Or you can, you know, you can, I can move her a little bit closer if I wanted to. And we're going to say they're in hand to hand combat. We need to look at their respective physical education and military science areas of knowledge. I'm gonna go and look at this guy's first. So he has military science of 55 and physical education of 65, okay? Sarah, Sarah has military science of 82, nice. Physical education of 35, ouch. Now we're gonna go and pull up the allowable combat table. We're gonna see who can do what. Now with a physical education of 65, the bad agent can engage in boxing, wrestling, or non-trained. Judo and martial arts are beyond him. If we go to this other side here for military science for Sarah, because her military science is higher, it looks like she is able to engage in non-trained wrestling, boxing, and judo or sword play right here. So she's able to engage in four different types, even though non-trained is not really a style. Now that we know what each one can do, let's go ahead and just do something simple on this one, shall we? So let's say that we compare their surprise ratings to see who's going to go first. Now, we're just going to say that he's not surprised because I could have did this 
with a surprise example, but I'm not going to. So we're just going to say they both know that one another is there. So we just compare their surprise ratings to see who's going to go first. And Sarah is always going to go first at this point. So she's going to be the attacker. And he's going to be the defender. So the first thing we need to see is which style of combat she's going to use. And today we're just going to focus on non-trained and boxing and sword play. So she's going to do some boxing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the boxing table and sword play table right here. And let's see what kind of maneuver she can choose. Now she's doing this first. She's going to choose hers first. And hmm, let's do a let's do let's go for it. Let's do a roundhouse. Okay, she's going to do a roundhouse. And it's up to him. Now what I'm going to do here, there's 12 up here. I'm just going to roll uh, 1d12, see what pops up randomly for this guy. Seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's duck and six. Opposite side slipping. So she is going to attack with a right. So she's doing a right roundhouse, and he's going to do opposite side slipping, which would be a left side slipping, and a duck. So now we're going to see what's going to happen here. So A minus nine. Yikes. Or B, D. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. So going back to the book, and I'm just going to pull it over. Actually, I'm going to pull, over, pull this over for you guys so you can see it. All right, so here we can see that it was B and D. So here's the combat results right here. So let's take a look at B and D. So B is the attack is unsuccessful and no injuries occur. And then D is the defender gains the advantage and may attack the, on the next turn. Ouch. So now on the next turn, the one who will get to choose will be the bad agent. Now, the bad agent, again, he has a physical education 65. And I have to go back again. He can do boxing, too. So he's going to do another boxing. So let's get pull that back up. And he's going to do a jab to the abdomen. Right? He'll do a jab to the abdomen. I'm going to do the same thing for Sarah. Just do it random see what happens for the defensive maneuvers one is 11 which means she does a clinch one more and seven opposite side slipping all right so let's see what happens jab to the abdomen and we'll say left jab so she does a right slide, side slipping. And if we go across here, she's going to choose between this one and the clinch. Now we have to see what E is on the table. And this would be comparing the fighter's hand-to-hand -hand values. Let me go ahead and pull this back up over here for you guys. All right. So as you can see here, E says to compare the fighter's hand-to-hand -hand values. The higher value minus the lower value is the difference in values. Use the possession combat table to see which fighter is in possession of the situation or has the advantage. That's basically what they're talking about here. I could go that route with Sarah, but I won't do that because a jab to the abdomen, abdomen, man, I can't talk. A jab to the abdomen is going to be with a opposite side slipping it will be a b which means it misses and a d which means she's gonna gain her advantage back all right so we'll do one more round 
and she now has the upper hand and she is going to she's going to do a kidney punch she's going to do a kidney punch so now we're going to roll for the agent to see what he gets for his defensive maneuvers a four one two three four opposite side blocking and the kidney punch is going to the she's going to use a right right kidney punch so opposite side blocking for him for his defensive and that looks like a retreat oh boy i'm getting scared okay so let's see what we have here we have a kidney punch b and c which means misses but she still gains the attack or o now o is a little bit different so if you look over here at o o if he decides that he wants to retreat means that the attack is going to miss but as the defender steps back the attacker is going to get a free strike and the defender is going to sustain the number of injury points indicated by the result plus result w and w is a damage table which is right here plus any injury modifiers which there would be in this situation you can't see he can't see running he hasn't been hurt yet so he's going to stay in the fight and so it's going to be a miss and she's still going to keep the advantage and he has no problem with that since he's not injured or anything like that and he probably might get an opportunity here to get advantage just like he did before now some people may think that this system is a little bit too crunchy for them it really isn't now it could be considered crunchy because of it's table heavy all right i'll give you that it's a little crunchy on that but this combat system is actually pretty simple the way that it's simple is that all you really need to know is a b c d and e on the combat tables because a means you got hit b means you didn't c means you got advantage d means you didn't and e means that you gonna see who got advantage on the possession table that's pretty much it. Now you might have to know O a little bit, which is retreat, and that's a simple one as well. But once you have all of that down, really combat can be really fast because number one, you'll have a lot of life and if you get hit a couple times real good, you're out and you're out for good, you know? So for sometimes, depending on if it's hand-to-hand -hand or projectile combat, because projectile combat, you can get taken out in a shot. So, you know what I'm saying? Combat doesn't have to be all that long or all that complicated okay let's move on with the question of the vid which is this let's say you have your character and you want them to be the best boxer or swordsman around if you had the choice no barriers who would you choose to teach your character how to be the best boxer or swordsman and it can be a teacher that is either fiction or non-fiction so this will be a little fun get into to see what you guys put down in the comments below. Who would you choose? All right, y'all, that is going to be it for me. If you like the video just a little bit, then you know what you could do? Give a brother a little bit of YouTube algorithm love and hit that like button. And if you want to stick around because you think that, you know, maybe I'm a little crazy, because that is true, or, you know, He's all right. I think I'll give him a shot and go ahead, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Let a brother slide on out because he's got to. And if you missed any of the other videos in the series, go ahead and take a look at them here. I'm out like a scout by thousand leaks. Peace and hair grease. I'm out.